Is Metaverse the beginning of the Matrix? Technology has become a huge part of our everyday lives. Just by the sheer number of hours we spend on our phones, laptops, or tablets, we would know for a fact that we're almost likely spending half of our day in the virtual world. Perhaps the only thing preventing us from fully immersing ourselves in virtual reality is the lack of a real Metaverse. In other words, an embodiment of augmented reality. With that said, is the Metaverse truly the beginning of the Matrix? You'll certainly be shocked with this video. But don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and wiggle that notification bell to get future updates and new videos from Big Brain Tech. In recent months, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has been under fire for a slew of allegations involving complying with political demands of censorship, propagation of misinformation, and selling of private information. The latest, however, comes from a whistleblower, Francis Hogan, who claims that whenever Zuckerberg was confronted with the idea of choosing between the well-being of Facebook users or the growth of the company, the CEO would always choose the latter. A lot of these allegations have already significantly affected Facebook's reputation, with some claiming that the damage done would most likely be irreparable. However, in spite of the ensuing chaos overtaking the company, Zuckerberg decided to forgo the announcement of Facebook's rebranding. And as part of this, it is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. The CEO claims that it's time for his company to take the step forward into the future by focusing on the development of the metaverse. And to show their dedication to this vision, they've decided to rebrand Facebook to Meta. In the late part of October, an hour-long video was released with Zuckerberg explaining the new project. And here's what we know so far. The metaverse is aimed to become the new version of the internet, where every person engaged would have their own avatars. As the name implies, the metaverse is designed as a form of augmented reality where users can go in and out of the world by the use of Oculus VR headsets. The company wants to give users as much control over the metaverse as possible, which means there'd be a degree of creative freedom for those willing to engage in the virtual world. Some of the highlighted features to be expected is the ability to choose or design your own place. It was shown that you would have the freedom to create a living space of your own within the metaverse. Anything from furniture, structuring, and even where your place would be situated. It all can be designed and imagined by you. Additionally, just like an online game, users would be able to interact and communicate with one another via their avatars. An interesting feature here is that they incorporated some elements of Facebook into the degree of control you have in terms of interactions you do with the metaverse. You will be given the freedom to choose whether or not you want to spend time with other users, or if you would prefer to have a private bubble of your own. You can even block some users in order to prevent them from interacting with you. This way, the user would still have control over the degree and nature of interactions that he or she will engage in while inside that reality. Another interesting point that was brought up was that people currently engaged in the metaverse would still have the ability to interact with the real world. Users can still message or call people from the outside without having to disengage from the metaverse. To take it a step further, you can even bring anything from the outside into the metaverse. Let's say you saw an interesting piece of artwork and you wanted to show it to your friends. You can instantly render that into the digital universe. It doesn't even need to be limited to the two-dimensional. You can transform the art into a three-dimensional object while in the metaverse. According to Zuckerberg, any object, be it a game, a book, an instrument, absolutely anything can have its own version within the metaverse. He also incorporated the possibility of working in the virtual world. He explains that if there's one thing that the pandemic taught us is that the majority of our work can be done from home. Mandating employees to be present in the workplace would definitely become a thing of the past. Time spent at preparing and commuting could be time better spent actually working within the confines of your home. But for your home to still feel like the workplace, the metaverse offers a workplace setting where you and your colleagues can still interact with each other. 
All in all, these are just a few of the countless possibilities that one can do once they engage in the metaverse. So it wouldn't really be much of a surprise if a decade from now, people would now primarily interact through this digital universe instead of the physical world. There are of course concerns regarding this new project in terms of safety, privacy, and control. But above all these concerns, there is the greater issue that threatens certain aspects of our living, our relationships, and our view of reality. Remembering the Matrix, we'll see that there exists parallels between the movie and the course our civilization is currently taking. The movie is set in a post-apocalyptic world where sentient machines have taken control of our species. These machines produced energy from humans by harvesting the biochemical waves produced by people as they lived out their lives within the Matrix. Neo, who was the main protagonist of the movie, was told of this truth and was offered to continue his life within the dream or to break out from the virtual world and back into the physical world. We're not of course suggesting that humanity's future would be that extreme. But with the current talks of a metaverse, one can't help but wonder of a somewhat similar future. There are those who doubt that the company would be able to pull it off. But given Mark's current status, influence, and wealth, the possibility of a successful metaverse could very well be at our doorstep. Let's go back and remember one of the issues critics have with him and his company in general. There exists the argument that someone who prioritizes company growth over the well-being of its users shouldn't be allowed to propose an innovation which could all the more encourage people to get hooked on the virtual world. Add to that the fact that more and more people are using the virtual world as a form of an escape from reality. If we do the math, there's almost no doubt that more and more people would decide to stay within the augmented reality instead of living their lives in the physical world. This is considering the fact that the company would more likely be bent on perfecting the metaverse in a way that would encourage people to stay engaged for longer periods of time. Once this future takes place, people's ability to socialize and interact would definitely take a hit. We can already see this as more and more people are finding it harder to develop social skills, especially among the younger generations. And as more people decide to stay longer within the metaverse, the lines between what's real and what's not would start to blur. But as Morpheus offered the red pill and the blue pill, so are we offered a chance to live in the dream or to escape from the matrix. In concert with the matrix, if you would take the blue pill, press like. And if you'd select the red pill, subscribe. Leave your comments down below and don't forget to follow the White Rabbit by checking out our other shocking videos like microbots and nano drones that will blow your mind. Or find out what Elon Musk actually thinks about AI with our video Tesla's AI Robot and Elon Musk's warning about it.